Welcome back. Uh, well, for the markets, it's extremely steady and strong, so no problems coming in. We have the Nifty, which is up around 142 odd points, and the Sensex, which is up a cool 500 odd points. So let's concentrate on a couple of companies then. Dixon Technologies is buzzing in trade today. The company has inaugurated its fourth smartphone manufacturing facility in Noida. Ashmit caught up with Sunil Vachani, who's the chairman of Dixon Technologies, to talk about uh, what the new manufacturing plant entails especially with respect to the investments and also on the company's partnership with Xiaomi. Well, we are hugely excited about the Honorable Minister's visit to a plant today to inaugurate the plant. And as I said, I think uh, after his visit, we are even more committed to the vision of uh, Make in India and making India the next hub uh, for manufacturing electronic products for the world. Uh, the plant that we just inaugurated today is the fourth plant for manufacturing mobile phones uh, for Dixon uh, and this plant will have a capacity of producing 25 million mobile phones per annum. Uh, as you mentioned that the investment that has gone into is almost about 260 crores. The, this is the largest plant for mobile phone for Dixon uh, and the uh, total area of the plant, the covered area is almost 300,000 square feet. Uh, the, uh, as, you know, as you mentioned, that Dixon is also looking at setting up a new plant in Noida, for which construction has already started. And this plant, when it's, once it's ready, will have a covered area of almost 1 million square feet uh, at one location. Uh, so we are hugely excited about this. Uh, we feel that India is set to emerge as the next hub for manufacturing for the world. And as I mentioned, that now the focus of the company and uh, all of us in the industry is to make sure that we deepen the value addition and also look at the movement of design in India besides make in India. Which in fact was my very next question. Uh, design, uh, there's a lot of design related inputs. The uh, ecosystem for components is moving here. This journey as far as uh, domestic value addition is concerned, how far do you see it progressing from where it stands right, right now? So I think, uh, you know, there has been talk about the low value addition in the industry. So I would like to clarify uh, that if you look at across uh, the industry spectrum and the products that we cover basically under the category of ICTE, which is Information and Communication Technology and Electronics, which covers all uh, you know electronics and home appliances and mobile phones, uh, the value addition is as high as 75% uh, in some product categories. So give you an example, uh, the new plant that is coming up for Dixon for refrigerator, the value addition will be as high as you know above 75%. If you look at products like LED lighting, the value addition is 60% and up. Uh, the typical product like mobile phone, uh, the, the problem there is, uh, or the issue there is, that it has a very high percentage of the semiconductor. So what we are committing that the non-semiconductor below material, other than the semiconductor, we will localize almost 65% in times to come. My one final question that uh, you had recently announced a partnership with Shami. Shami was also here uh, to help welcome you, uh, inaugurate this new facility. Just some guidance on the way forward. Are you looking at more such partnerships? Can you give some color on that? No, I think uh, it's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, and I think uh, this facility, once it's fully operational, as I mentioned, will have a large capacity. Uh, and, and, and the whole idea is that, you know, as, as companies and Indian companies, we need to look at life beyond PLI. And really what will matter then is the kind of scale that one generates. And as I mentioned today uh, in my talk today, that now Dixon has a capacity to produce almost 70 million mobile phones per annum out of a total demand in the country of about let's say 200 million phones mm -hmm. so i think that's uh, a big scale that we've created and we hope and we feel that this will help dixon uh, to be globally competitive in times to come all right that is a very interesting conversation with uh, dixon technologies but we do need to take a short break we're going to be back in just two minutes and we'll talk more about the market action and what's going on with some specific stocks as well